Hey guys and welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Phil Richards. In today's video we're going to be taking you through the special test known as the Kligers test and this is to test the syndesmosis of the ankle joint. So briefly what is the syndesmosis? The syndesmosis is connective tissue that essentially holds the tibia and the fibula together so that when the talus and the foot is articulating and moving they don't spread too far apart and become unstable otherwise we wouldn't be able to walk and run and jump etc. So what we're essentially trying to do in this test is stress it to see if it's become ruptured or loosened and which is likely to follow a big impact or a very very heavy inversion ankle injury. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to bring the foot up into a neutral plantar grade position and all we do from here is we forcibly externally rotate the tibia and what this is going to do is it's going to push the talus against the fibula and if the syndesmosis holding these two bones together is not doing its job, the fibula is going to be able to be like pushed out more. And this is going to reproduce pain for our patient. And so we're looking for pain anywhere around this region, which could be part of the syndesmosis or the, uh, the tibiofibular ligament anterior or posterior. So it's that reproduction of pain on this forcibly externally rotated movement like so. Do we like this test? Well, the syndesmosis tests in general don't have amazing uh, sensitivity and specificity. However, if you're putting this together with your picture of someone that's had a very bad ankle sprain and they're not progressing well, this can be very useful to tell whoever you are referring onto about the problem. In that sense, it can be useful and if someone is struggling, we would implore you to use this test. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon, right here on Clinical Physio.